Hello, welcome to the Wrestle Vomit Podcast, an extension of the Vomit series of podcasts. As always for this podcast, I'm your host, Mac Taylor, and with me is the Cunninghams, Amber and Joe, and Amber, the newly crowned AWF champion. <laughs> they, the only time Joe got to touch the belt was when he handed it over to his wife. <laughs> hey, fuck you. DJ let me bring it home when we first got it. <laughs> exactly. You got to transfer it. You got to be the glorified. You're Paul Heyman. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I'm cool with that. <laughs> I would not be cool with that. <laughs> we we thought Bri was gonna get it for a minute, which I was like, that'd be so funny if like his son got it, got it for he did. I'm gonna be the last one to get it, dude. I bet <laughs> it's between you and the eight year olds now. <sighs> it's awful. It's awful. <laughs> uh, so all right, we got a lot of wrestling to talk about this week. Uh, not a whole lot of news, so that that's kind of a positive kind of a negative yeah. uh it wasn't a whole lot that happened this week as far as like big news uh but we'll start with wwe because there was not a whole lot actually to talk about there so we start out with monday night raw that had very very low ratings but i i watched it yeah and we started out with a with a Miz tv segment because that always draws people in always everybody loves the Miz, dude and then Drew McIntyre came out. I I don't know what's going on with Drew's promos lately. <laughs> he said he, he told Drip Trip to make sure his head is, is is nice and moist. Yes. Because he's going to shove it up the Miz's ass. Um, Drew, are you okay? <laughs> you let someone sure. write your stuff. I don't understand <laughs> what's going on here. Ricochet was rapping during this segment. I was like, what the fuck is that? What's happening there? Yeah. Uh, the best part was Riddle, who shows up to climb the ladder, pulls the microphone out of his RK Bro bag, which was just like <laughs> perfect. Yes. Uh, but then here comes Styles and Omos, who aren't even in the match. Nope. Uh, and they just beat the hell out of Riddle. And everyone kind of gets into, a, into some fisticuffs. And a little that, scuffle. That, yeah, a little, little scuffle. Uh, What'd you guys think of all, all that? All that stuff that's for a match that's coming up soon. It was all right. It was funny with Riddle. Riddle made it entertaining. So. Of course. You know. he, he saved it. He saved the segment. Because for he a did. while, it, it was like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, because I, I wasn't really sure exactly what he was doing at first until AJ and Omos came out. And then, you know, Riddle was sitting on top of the ladder. He's like, hey, bro. And he talks about Randy he? like the guy. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, where is Randy Orton? Is he going to show up like a Money in the Bank to cost Riddle the match or to help Riddle with the match? It could be. If he doesn't show up on Raw, then I'm guessing that's what's going to happen. He's 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 busy saving the Singh brothers. Still. <laughs> Save the Sings. <laughs> he's trying to get them their jobs back. Uh, and, and also, we're getting Gender versus Drew here yep. with no buildup. Yeah. Uh, and when we get to that match, we'll talk about it. But a uh, big, big flop here for this. Yeah. Uh, and then Alexa is stalking uh, Shayna Baszler in the back. She's like showing up in doorways and shit. Uh, man, they're wi- the, the Raw is doing their women's division dirty. They are, man. They're dirty. not doing anything with like anybody. Because it's- we get, we get it, uh, you know, an eight women tag match. Uh, which just rem- reminds me of the Divas era where they would get like two minutes of tag match on Raw. Uh, so we had Alexa Bliss, Nikki Cross, almost superhero. They really yep. sold that gimmick home today. They did. Asuka, <laughs> Naomi taking on Nia Jax, Shayna Baszler, Eva Marie, and <laughs> Dewdrop. 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 Um, <laughs> why? <laughs> Why do we keep doing this? Why are even Marie and Dewdrop in this picture? Everyone else is in the money in the bank. Yeah. Well, no, actually, Jackson. Be- One team is completely not in the money in the bank. Right. Which One is team Jackson completely Basel. is. Yeah. So does the money in the bank even mean anything? The women's doesn't. We've had no <laughs> significant buildup to it. None. Uh, like I said, they're just throwing shit together, man, because they don't have – they don't know that WWE doesn't even know what the fuck they're going to do, obviously, because they've been doing this shit for two weeks. Yeah. 
they're like, we kind of want to do something with these eight women. We'll just throw them in the same match, have them figure yeah. it out, try to sell like eight different gimmicks at the same time. Yep. Because you have the Alexa stuff, the superhero Nikki stuff, the Eva Marie and Dewdrop stuff, and it doesn't go together. It all just seems like a jumbled mess. It's incoherent. It, it doesn't make that's any sense. Yeah, that's all it is. Uh, and poor Piper Niven is bumping all over the goddamn place. Mm -hmm. uh, just trying to wrestle. <laughs> um, Alexa's doing her whole like scary trance stuff. Uh, not really doing much wrestling in this match. Get no Reggie involved again. Yeah, Reggie gets more screen time than some of these people. Uh, and then Eva legitimately did not take a bump in this match. She took like a couple of like hits, but yeah. she, I'm like, can she even take a back bump? Like, come on now, like. Ugh. I I'm st I still can't figure out what the fuck they're doing with her. And in it's the end, Jax kind of finishes off Nikki. I gave it two stars. Should have gave it one, but you know, I I I love the people involved. I just I can't. I I, I got to give it something. Yeah. But what, <clears throat> Amber? What is this? I don't know. Did you see Eva Marie piss Shayna off? Yeah. Oh <laughs> that yeah. Was great. Yeah. I was just all over that. I was like, oh, this is making it really entertaining. Yeah. Uh, Shane has got to be like, are you fucking kidding me? She was on the me? right side of the ring. She was on the wrong side of the turnbuckle. Yeah, she was, like tapping her. That was it. Shane is like, do I have to carry you through this fucking match that you don't even have to wrestle in? That was probably her I'm, mentality. I'm more disappointed they didn't beat the hell out of her after she announced she was the winner, and they weren't. It, it's probably coming at some point, but still, like, hopefully soon. Even Maria has no business in this current era of wrestling. No, like, she none at all. She has no business being back in the fucking company at all. No, none. None. If they uh, bring back Eva search, she'd be perfect to host that. She would be a perfect candidate for it because she has literally no personality. No. <laughs> She's just attractive. Yeah. That's it. That's all she is. Yeah. Uh but you know, somehow with all these firings, she's managed to get herself hired. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb, man. It's it's just sad because again most of these women can have a really good match. Oscar's a former women's champion. Naomi's a former women's champion. Yep. Nikki Cross can be somebody if they let her be. Alexa's a former champion. Shayna Baszler is a beast. Yep. Jax, Naya. with the right opponent, can be okay. And Piper Niven is fine. Yeah. But <laughs> You don't give them anything to do except for shenanigans. You got them in trances outside the ring, getting startled. One doesn't even wrestle, <laughs> but claims well, claims she really wins. Because they're recycling the match in another way for Raw. They already announced it. So. Oh my god! Like on some, yeah, they announced it on. Smart. And then you wonder why your ratings tank. Like you're give you're give it a shit. Like <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's so, the first show with an audience. Um, I'm trying to think if <clears throat> if this Monday is going to be the first Raw back with the live crowd because I know SmackDown is. Is anyone going to be there? <laughs> <laughs> well, shit, the, the arena's like, still empty. <laughs> what are we going to do? We don't have the Thunderdome screen. Empty arena match. Yeah, it was a gimmick all along. <laughs> I actually do think this is going to be the first Raw with live crowd. This I coming mean, people are going to be excited just to go back. Oh yeah, but. Yeah. Give them better stuff. Yes, give them quality <laughs> entertainment. Like, look at what AEW did for their fans coming back. Like, <laughs> well, like we'll talk about it. But it's we're gonna high get quality to that, shit. Buddy. <laughs> we're gonna like, get to that. Pay per view quality shit mm. yeah. for free oh, on television. Pay per view. I mean, it, yeah, it was it was kind of a pay per view, but yeah. still quality television. <laughs> like, just really? right there for you. Yeah. And it's not that hard to write. It's not like wrestling is a hard business to, to make something good out of, especially when you, the hard part's getting the talent. You have the talent. Yeah. You had seven out of eight of your women that were pure talent. And you're yeah. just like, fuck that, fuck that. We're just, we're just doing all the shenanigans in this match. Yep. And then we got Lashley and his hoe train. They're mad at Kofi. Yep. Also, why are they still here? Can we They're send the hoe train way. home? Do they have to be on the road with WWE? Uh, who are these women? Uh, send them back to the Real Housewives. Who the fuck cares? And get them off my screen. Yes. 
I'm just Dude, saying. That There's was a lot of people great. that don't get screen time, and they're just over here drinking cheap ass champagne and hanging out with married Bobby Lashley. I'm done. Yep. I'm done with it. And they get multiple segments, you know. Yeah, Anytime Lashley's same. involved, they're right there. Like they get booked better than the women's division. Yep. MVP is also a part of the whole train. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's our hoe. <laughs> he's the main hoe. He's the main hoe. <laughs> you gotta have your main hoe. Uh and then McIntyre starts telling stories. I'm like, see, this is gimmick now that he just tells Scottish stories. <laughs> I guess he's like that guy at the bar you don't want to have an extended conversation with. Like, oh my God. Yeah, if you make eye contact, you done fucked up. Let me tell you something about my own country. Let me show you my sword. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then we had Ollie versus Monsoor. Yep. Uh, Ollie's trying to teach him how to not be him. I don't know what the fuck this angle is. I don't I either. Not take advice on Ollie about <laughs> about your career yeah. trajectory. <laughs> No. no and it's sad because ali is so good he yeah. really is but he has got fucking nothing no uh, they only gave him five minutes as well uh which monsoor he, he tried to get his spots and he was fired up yep he, he was firing in all cylinders uh ali's ankle gets caught in the ropes monsoor helps him then gets rolled up and that's you know because classic roll up classic are all roll up you know fucking victory we need to start a count for all the roll-ups it, it's too, it's too much to keep track of. It's <laughs> it's, it's an ungodly number. It is. Yeah. Uh, it, it it's 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 like the god all of the it's kind of like counting each woman in the Godfather's hoe train. Like you know, you after a while you're like, oh god, I'm tired of counting uh, all these people. Yeah. That's gonna be Bobby Lashley soon. He's gonna just yeah. When they start traveling, they'll have to get new ones from the towns. Oh <laughs> like they used to. That's how they used to get Godfather's hoe train. They would go to the really? bar. They would go to the bar and just pick up hot girls and then bring them bring them to the show. And wow. that would be the hoe train for the night. Okay. All right. I've got a strip club. That could work. That could <laughs> be a thing. They could have. Could have been the strippers going to the bar after work, too. Yeah. Hey, you know, you never know. Yeah. I mean, he was. These girls got paid here. and they also didn't take screen time from other professionals. This is true. They own Justice for the Godfather, Godfather hoe train. Yes. For the real hoe train. <laughs> for the real hoe train. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, this match is bullshit. Star and a half. Yeah. Uh, then we got Drew McIntyre versus Jinder Mahal. Uh, now, before, <sighs> this match was not bad, first of all. No. But that's the thing. Jinder and Drew, the, the history is there. Yeah. They're yes. in 3MB together. They both, you know, left, came back jacked, won the WWE title. Jinder can have this thing where he's jealous of Drew's, you know, getting beloved by the fans and gender never got over like he really wanted to right you know, just build it yeah just have some segments like you know after hell in a cell gender could have attacked drew just to make sure that you know the loss was clean but then gender could have attacked drew and then we could have started this angle but no we just throw it in on raw for no reason this is a pay-per-view match honestly like gender mahal is a good wrestler yeah and a good he heel is. yep drew's a great wrestler they they know they've known each other for years. This let them wrestle each other. Like this match was good. It was hard hitting. There was a lot of spots. Yeah. Uh, you know, we had the whole Veer and Shanky thing. Obviously, this match ended in DQ. There's probably going to be another one, but there's no build. You need the build to hey, make you care. About? He brought his motorcycle that he said that he got with Drew McIntyre. Oh yes, said. because that that <laughs> sells storylines. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I gave the match three stars, which is the most I give to a random match for no reason. So no, it, it was a good match. It's a good it match. Was, it was a good hard hitting match, but, but the I ending really was. And also, why did we job Jeff Hardy out to Jinder Mahal if we're just gonna have him just randomly in shit and not even really be a big deal? Like yeah. you know, again, raw. Why? 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 It's angry. unnecessary. You're going out of your way to be an asshole. It's like I don't understand. Yeah. But. Uh, so then the new day, they're all hyped up because you know they're they're always hyped up. Yeah. Uh, and Priest is still like trying to be friends with Riddle. Is is this gonna become something? Maybe Priest's gonna be there when Randy turns on him. Could be. What 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 is Priest and Riddle's team gonna be called? Hmm. I don't know, dude. I don't know. The Priest Bros. <laughs> priest bros no i hope not that sounds illegal that that <laughs> <laughs> was 
was about to say, dude, that seems a little. <laughs> um, I don't know what you call it. The bros. I, I don't even know. I can't even think They're of anything. Not even give them a name. It's just priest and riddle. Mm-hmm. I could I could see priests like scraping a sad Matt Riddle off. It's of them. Bad Bunny, crazy. Priest, and Matt Riddle. Oh God. Uh, then we got Mason T Bar oh, yeah. versus the Lucha House Party. Well, we were wondering where they went. <laughs> Why? Why did we do this? Also, I didn't even know Lucha House Party was still a thing since Kalisto has been gone. Yeah. Uh, and basically, Mason T Bar just kind of fuck up Lucha House Party until we get a surprise roll up. That's two on the night for the win for Lucha House Party. I gave it one and a half stars because you know it was a match. Yeah, but. And this is going back to, you know, the NXT days, dude. Why are they doing this with fucking Dijakovic, dude? He's so good. We've seen what that man can fucking do. And you're going to, I'm cool with him. We also saw what Keith Lee could do and look what they did with him. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense. Split them up. Yeah, because let me tell you, Mace can really get over by himself. Oh, no. He, I mean, I'm not saying that he's not a good wrestler or anything. Can we just give him his name back and just call him Dominic Dijakovic? Right. Do we have to keep calling him T-Bar if they split up? Retribution's over. Can we stop using the retribution names? Yep, they just need to give Dijakovic a singles fucking push. I don't even know what Mace's actual name was. I just know he was a commentator. Yeah. And Brock beat him up. That's all I remember. Uh, So then we got Riddle versus Styles. Great match. Yep. Uh, Riddle really selling that foot injury. Oh, dude. Really, really sold the hell out of it. Because at the start yes. of the night, it was healed up, but then it got injured. And then, yeah, all match. It was all about him and that foot. Uh, so good good stuff there. Uh, it was basically Riddle just struggling to stay alive in the match. Uh, yeah. But we got another roll-up win. Yeah, three. That, that's three in one card. Yeah. Uh, but three stars, though, because, again, it's Riddle and Styles. It's, it's, it's a great match. And Riddle got the win. Yeah. But, but again, by roll-up, it, you don't get momentum with a roll-up victory. It just doesn't work like that. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you have so many of them on the card. <laughs> yeah, a little weird. Literally, this was right after the last one. Yeah. New wrestling fans must think that this is how all wrestling matches end. You got to give them with that surprise roll-up. That's the only way to win. <laughs> uh, and Charlotte and Rhea have injuries? What the hell's with this? This was stupid. Rhea was kind of funny. No, this was dumb. I love Rhea, but this was dumb. No, I Rhea, know, I, Rhea. I, I knew she was faking it. I knew Charlotte was faking it. And I was like, okay, Rhea's just making fun of her. Yeah. But still, this was a dumb segment. It was. This was stupid. like five minutes. But, I mean, you know, they got to have their fillers when they're not going over fucking 20 minutes of highlight. Watch two people fake an injury for five minutes of television. It took a long time to get to the ring. It sure (laughs) fucking did. I watched it on one and a half speed, and I still did a great job. Rhea did a great job with that whole, oh, I'm hurt too. (laughs) That was so dumb. Had a neck brace and everything. Then we got something that was even worse, and that is. Elias and Cedric Alexander versus Jackson Riker and R Truth. R Truth is only here so that when Tazawa shows up with the 24 7 shenanigans, Truth leaves the match to chase 24 7. Also, Sheldon Benjamin was in that 24 7 crowd. Look at yeah. Alexander and, and Sheldon were in the hurt business. They were like tag champs, top of the card. Now Sheldon's chasing around Akira Tazawa and Alexander's teaming up with Elias. Yep. Bullshit. It's stupid. Like this match, Riker just kind of ran through Alexander and pins him because Elias left. Half yep. a star. Yeah, it was a waste. Yeah, yeah. I could have been on main event. Yeah. It 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 should have been like on dark, or like if you if you just got there early enough, you can see yeah. this kind of match. Yeah. But we're also still setting shit up around the the table. You probably can't see anything, but these guys are wrestling. <laughs> Yeah. You can hear the map bumps. Yeah. 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 The commentator table ain't even set up yet. You're the only fans there. Watch this match. That's funny. Or go get your popcorn. Whatever the fuck you need to do. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh so then we got the main event. 
which was an actual main event. Actually, it was, it was. Really this match. It was. The New Day versus Lashley and MVP. Good match. Yeah. MVP's back. It was good to see him wrestling again. Uh, and then, you know, mostly it's, you know, MVP getting worked by the New Day or Bobby working Xavier. You keep Lashley and Kofi away from each other as much yes. as possible because you want that money in the bank to be the match where they get a hold of each other. Exactly. Good booking. Yep. Where was this for the rest of your fucking show? They don't think about that, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, and then we get a great finish where M- MVP went for the playmaker. Kofi rolls through it, hits trouble in paradise, win for the new day. Boom. Stars. Giving Kofi momentum, dude. Which is, yeah, and again, he's not going to win. But you need to give it. We need to think he's a, he's a threat. Yeah, he's you know, definitely a threat. You don't have to build Lashley. Just look at him. We yep. need to build Kofi. Yep. They did a good job of it. Yes, they did. And let MVP take the fall. Yeah. Good. Good job, yeah. guys. I mean, it's right in front of your face, but that doesn't mean you'll do it. Exactly. <laughs> so then we were on to the pay-per-view that Amber <laughs> loves because it earned her a belt. And that yeah. was NXT Great American Bash. What a fun card this was. Oh, man. Uh, except for there's one part of the card that we'll talk about that I just – I I was – dying to get through because it was so terrible uh, but nevertheless we started out with the match we were talking about so much last week and that was msk versus champa and thatcher nxt tag titles dude what an opener they delivered they fucking they delivered. stood and delivered yes yeah yeah, I mean, Champa and Thatcher, I mean, they just beat the hell out of these guys. But then MSK kept firing back. This made yes. MSK look so good. They, they made them look like legit champions. Yeah. Yeah. Amber called it, too. She said they were going to get through it. I didn't think they were. I'll give her that. That's why she's holding the belt right now. She got it right. That's not the reason. Well, no, but I'm trying to give you credit, <laughs> Amber. Just let it happen. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Uh, thanks so much. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, and also when uh, Ch- uh, Champ hit the fairy tale ending, I thought that I thought was, that was it, I dude. thought that was the pin. Yeah, but no. Uh, and then a nice. It wasn't a roll up. It's a cradle pin. It's even. You know, it's there's actual strategy in how you pin somebody here. Uh, yep. And then so it ends. Champ and Thatcher have respect for MSK, but this isn't over. It feels like there's still another match to be had between these two teams. I think there is. I gave it four stars though because it was a hell of an opener. Yes, it high was high energy stuff. Yep. Then we set up Cross and Gargano for next week, even though I thought that was originally slated for the Bash card. And that, I did too. Uh, yeah. Uh, don't know why. Maybe Cross just wasn't feeling it. I'm not surprised. He's scared of Johnny. Should be. He's fucking scared. He's fucking Which is funny that Gargano hides behind Joe during this. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. Here. He just keeps like walking around to stay on his other side of his shoulder. It's so good. Gargano yeah. is just way too talented to be in the ring with someone like Cross. Like he, he is so much more above him. Oh yeah, dude. But you know he's probably gonna lose. Uh, but unless the theory that I have of Cross getting called up to the main roster and he's have that strap I off. I think of him. it could happen. Because you could have Joe interfere some way. Yeah. Like because you know Cross maybe goes a little too far. Joe comes out, sneaky roll up. Gargano wins. Now we have Phil Gargano NXT champion. That's what I want. Cross on on to the put Cross on the low ratings Raws. Feed him Elias and Jackson Riker. I don't give a shit. And give Gargano the strap. That's all I care about. Yep. Then we got totally fine with that. We got Cameron Grimes. Cameron Grimes. (laughs) Taking on LA Knight for the million dollar title. And if Grimes lost. He would become L.A. Knight's butler. Uh, Grimes was on fire in this match. He was oh, dude. He was red hot. Yes. Uh, all of his spots. Uh, but L.A. Knight had to do sneaky heel maneuverings. Uh, DDT on the million dollar title, which I'm glad. I mean, one, that's an expensive title. Be careful. But two, I'm yep. glad they used it. And uh, then he comes in, hits his finisher, and wins. So now Grimes will have to play the butler part, which we all knew was going to happen. And now... Yep. We're going to really get them low, 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 low. And then to the moon. To the moon. He's going to win that title, man. I bet I, they have a takeover before SummerSlam. This is the correct way to book it. Yep. You I know, agree. I, this all makes sense. And, and I'm glad. So, it's so nice to see a show just make sense. Yes. 
NXT does it. Yeah. Consistently, they do it. They only won. <laughs> then we got The Way versus Io Shirai and uh, Zoe Stark. I almost said Tony Stark. It just, it just flows right off the tongue. It does. <laughs> uh, for the women's tag team titles. <laughs> also a good match. Very good match. Uh, Io was on it with those kicks. Oh, she, dude. She was just kicking the hell out of anybody in the ring. Yeah. Uh, but Candice was vicious too. Good doing the Gargano escape. Yeah. Uh, great stuff. But uh, we get the return of Tegan Knox. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Interesting. At first, I didn't even recognize her. I was like, who the hell's that? Yeah. And then they're like, I'm like, oh, Tegan Knox. Right. It's been a while. Yep. It was crazy <laughs> uh, to see her come back, dude. Which distracted Larray. And uh, yeah, get the big ass knee and the win for Shirai and Stark. They're the new tag team champions. Yeah, uh, buddy. Good for them. They make a good team, dude. They, they are a good team because Stark's the powerhouse and Shirai's the, the top rope person. So you, yep. know, you get that, that balance of styles. Yep. Uh, and then Loomis came back for Andy Index, Hartwell. Dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we had, we had, we had two, uh, two returns, technically. Loomis hadn't been around for a while. Yeah, we haven't seen him. So yeah, I gave it three stars. Yep. Solid match. Yeah. Could have been a little longer, though, because I saw a little more from it. But yeah, overall, pretty great. good. Expecting um, Tegan to be the person with the battery promo. No, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't either. Because I, I saw, I, I'm like, what does that have to do with her? I don't right. understand. Uh, whatever, it's whatever. Yeah, it, ha- it happens. I'm glad she's back. Then Tegan's we got. Good. Then we got the hardest thing that I had to get through, which was Hit Rose Cipher oh, celebration. We'll skip that. It just kept going. <laughs> Fucking wow. annoying annoying like it, nobody gives a fuck about you hit row we care just, about swerve that's it, just it. Kept, yeah exactly, oh, exactly. Damn, dude. but like it's just so stupid i'm like okay they're gonna do like a couple of bars and then we're gonna roll on and then they kept switching to the next person I'm like wait how yeah. long is this fucking thing stupid. we gotta fit a match in here exactly could have called yeah. back ricochet that that was bullshit i was not happy with this they could have the cross match in that amount of time yeah well yeah, you can feel like 10 cross matches in that time <laughs> But then we got our main event, the one that has the big-ass title card. It's Kyle O'Reilly versus Adam Cole 2. That's the one that won Amber the title. Yes. And I voted for someone I don't like. (laughs) (laughs) It's how it goes in the AWF. Got you the win, though, man. Got you this, bad boy. (laughs) Till the next pay-per-view. When I take it from her. (laughs) (laughs) You can shine it for someone comes and takes it, Joe. Fuck you, Benny. Yeah, I told him that's his job. He's my butler. <laughs> He's, He's your Cameron Grimes. Yeah, we Grimes. <laughs> so yeah, a uh, vicious match between O'Reilly oh. and Cole. This is what you expect from these two. I mean, and there were so many times I thought it was going to be it, and then it wasn't it. Dude, the end, of, like the last three or four minutes of that match were just fucking just insane kicking out of the first panama sunrise i was like oh shit i thought that was it yeah but can't kick out of the second one followed by that last shot knee Dude, that's a vicious knee to the back of the head yeah the last three or four minutes were probably the best of that match adam cole needed this win too you know he's taking the losses to o'reilly but like he needs something to come back into the fold here so i'm glad this happened uh overall really great card again just take out the hit row cipher it was horrible yep at least cut off like 17 minutes of it. <laughs> yeah, that was stupid, man. Because I, I somewhat I was hanging out with my friend Emily and she had never watched wrestling before. Oh no. And so she 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 loved the the champ at Thatcher stuff. She she had fun with most of the cards. Then we got to the hit row cipher and she's like, How long is this gonna go on for? I'm like, I don't know. It's gotta be over soon. And then it just kept going. I'm like, it's still going. And she's like, yeah. Oh my god, it's still going. Like, I'm like, Yeah, so yeah, thanks, hit row. Trying yeah. to get people in wrestling, and you're just sliding and right you're back out. out. Here fucking rapping and shit. No, oh, I'm never showing a raw. No, oh, God. God, dude. Should be like, why? Are they'll you have they'll that? have like a whole fucking concert. <laughs> Hit row live. <laughs> no thanks. So then we hop on over to the blue brand, smack it down. That also had low ratings this week. Raw had the lowest ratings of any Raw in recorded history. And really Sm- and smackdown's ratings were the lowest the past few years this week really see i thought smackdown was actually fucking good last night dude 
yeah but it's still people are just people are tuning out because of all the the other shit yeah Yeah. i get it so we start off smackdown with the usos falling in line what line the bloodline yep to go against edge yep uh i think this makes sense though it it, it gives edge all the obstacles to overcome uh and also this was going to happen inevitably i'm glad that it's went ahead and did it yeah uh then we got a Money in the Bank qualifier match. King Ske Nakamura. King Ske. Versus the former King Corbin. And Boogs and Nakamura showed up in Corbin's recently towed G-Wagon. Yeah. <laughs> Come rolling into the fucking Thunderdome. And Pat McAfee was like, had a foot bath going. Him and Big E, dude. Yeah. Yes. Just yes. hanging out. <laughs> like, this is great. None of it had to do with the match. The match was the basic ass match they've had for the past like seven weeks. Yeah. But all the shenanigans were fun in this one. Welcome yes. shenanigans. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, of course Nakamura wins here because Corbin's got to go very, very low before they hit him with the happy Corbin gimmick. <sighs> so yeah, King Say Nakamura, money in the bank. Rick Boogs, we have money in the bank, baby. Rick Boogs. We're doing it. How mad were you when fucking Corbin fucking checked Boogs in the gut? Oh, I was ready to come down there. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll ruin the rest of your day, Corbin. You, you, like, oh, no, Ben's going to be so mad, Baron. Just punch fucking boogs. You keep your hands <laughs> off that sweet baby boogs. Sweet baby boogs. Uh, then we got Natalia and Tamina versus Shotzi Blackheart and Tegan Knox. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> I, I I thought they announced it wrong when it started. I'm like, oh, did they accidentally play NXT music? And I'm like, oh, shit, they're here. Like, what? Yeah. Yeah, what the fuck are they doing on SmackDown? And why is Tegan with Shotzi? When she- yeah, well, I, my theory is because Ember has already been on the main roster, and they don't really want to acknowledge that. Well, so they were like, "Fuck it, we'll just throw Tegan in there." Uh, it still doesn't make. They sense. weren't a bad team, though. Honestly, no, they 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 did really well, and they won. They fucking won, dude. They uh, beat. Natty from from what I heard, they just don't have enough women's tag teams, even though they have two sets of tag titles. So they're just going to start throwing NXT tag teams into um, like main into the, the main roster stuff. I'm cool with that. So they're not official. No, no, they're not call ups. This is just for oh. this. Okay, they're still I'm NXT sure. wrestlers. Yeah, because I was, I, we were both thinking there's that. only oh. one call up that has been made official, and that yes. is Tony Storm, which Tony we saw later. Storm. So yep. that that that's happening. Yep. But as far as Shotsky and Tegan go, they will be on NXT next week. It's just okay. Good. I was I was a little worried kind of about that, here. dude. I was a little worried about that. Yeah, especially because Shotsky and Ember are such a good team. Don't split. Yes. Them up. Yeah. Also, Bailey's injured. Yeah. Is this real or kayfabe? I don't know, dude. Because I haven't seen any news on it being real. No. Then it could just be. I think I seen one article, but I don't know if it was real. And they were saying that it's going to be nine months, and she did it while she was training. Yeah, which yeah. you know, remember Shane McMahon's injury when he was training? Oh, yeah. Who was that? Was that when he was it's having a Braun. With Braun? Yeah. Uh, and then they just take Carmella right out of the Money in the Bank she never won her way into, and put her right into the title match. Yeah. And I was like, what? <laughs> Why just have your women wrestle? They're yeah. good. Yeah. Look at your tag match and you just bullshitted together. It worked. Yeah. It's fucking god damn it. <laughs> and then Liv Dude, comes if we out. Could ring necks. There would be so many necks that would be ring. <laughs> yeah, and then Liv comes out and she's also like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. And she gets all mad and they're like, "You know what, Liv? You're in money in the bank." Yeah. Okay. Why not? <laughs> They, they Sonia could have told her that last week. Beth she Phoenix here in Money in the Bank. She told her because she took Carmella out. Oh yeah, that's right. She did say that at, at the end. Yeah, but it was like, what is happening with the women's Money in the Bank? <sighs> Just I let know. I mean, yeah, Liv has wrestled matches, so I do what she deserves to be in it more than anybody else is in. Oh, I agree. On the SmackDown yeah. side, she's actually yeah. wrestled. Like yeah. Selena Vega. No offense to you. But you just fucking came back and you just walked your way on into the money in the bank. Yeah, I think that was kind of part a part of that is because they probably feel bad that they fucking let her go and that she was in negotiations for so long. So they're like, well, tell you what, you come back, 
We'll put you in the money. But still bullshit match. a match together to show, like, kayfabe-wise. Or at least I understand the business. Win against Liv. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, I understand that business is business and you had to do what you had to do to get her back or whatever to appease somebody or whatever. But as far as kayfabe concerned, there was no it, it, she was just put in it you need yeah. to give like especially the kids that don't know about you know they don't know the news uh unless there's no podcast <laughs> give right. them a reason to understand why this shit is happening yeah it's not that hard nope. then we got a money in the bank qualifier match between cesaro and rollins and we all knew where this was going great match though man great match though three stars these yeah. guys they, they never had a bad match against each other no nope. uh I also loved Owens was on commentary and he's just mocking Rollins. Like Rollins like hits the announce table. He's like, Hey, my phone is here. And then he throws the thing and stomps. He's like, yeah, that'll help to stomp the thing on the floor. Stomp the thing. Yeah. That was his, he just kept saying the thing, the thing. Yeah. Cause like when, when Rollins took off the, the pad for the turnbuckle. Yeah. KO was like, Oh, he ripped the thing off. Like, <laughs> did you forget what it was called, bro? <laughs> Every time he's on commentary, he just has a little, he has nothing going on up there. Yeah. Uh, but Cesaro, uh, there was one point where he powers out of a Falcon arrow. Mm-hmm. That was a really good spot. And he gets busted open, which Dude, never yeah. happens on WWE television. No. It had to be an accident. I don't know because they didn't try and wipe the blood off it like they usually do. Right. I was like, yeah, usually this is a no no in WWE yeah. television. Yeah. But yeah, he was bleeding good too. It wasn't well, just a little cut. I'm wondering if they're starting to do this shit because they're trying to keep up with the maturity content of you know who. Well, they're going to need to do a lot more than this, and they want to keep up with the maturity content of you know. Yeah, who, which I we'll agree. talk we'll talk about that shit later. But there there was a lot of stuff this week on AEW television <laughs> yeah. that yeah. would not be on WWE television. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, great match. Rollins, I think, is probably the front runner to win Money in the Bank at this point. Yeah. Say. Yeah. It would make I, sense. I, yeah, but fucking, I feel so bad for Cesaro, dude. Like, I know he's getting pushed right back down the card, and he's done nothing wrong. He hasn't, dude. The dude is a fucking workhorse, and it's proved he. Anyone you pair him with, he's gonna make it work. Yeah. Just My get, hope is that he just the draft. They put the bar back together. That would be great. I would also, to when the fuck is Sheamus going to defend the U.S. title? Yeah, I, I, he hasn't even been on fucking. No, the not last, since like, that one match with the uh, with the uh... Humberto. Yeah, yeah. And that uh, was Ricochet. like three weeks ago. Two, yeah, three that weeks was before ago. the Money in the Bank qualifier shit. Yeah. Well, maybe it'll be at Money in the Bank. I'm not going to give him the credit to say that they're planning that, but no. Uh, yeah, when Sheamus going to put out that belt? <laughs> like. He, he's by, defended it what twice twice and they were in open challenges with yeah. ricochet I yeah think one of them he said it wasn't for the title but i don't know so okay so yeah. again he's like once yeah he's had it since wrestlemania yeah and, and well, he's he only injury oh yeah i mean his nose is fucked up but but still show up on television, have him be yeah, there. He could. Yeah, he like, can with be the there. Humberto and the Ricochet thing, he was there. He wasn't wrestling. Yeah. yeah. Like, what even is the US title anymore? That doesn't mean much. So then Edge showed up to be, you know, unhinged Edge. Uh, the Usos and Roman come out, and as do the Mysterios. So Edge and the Mysterios uh, took on took on the bloodline. Yeah. And uh, what's the mass? Yeah. Uh, I like this. I do too. Uh, you know Ed, edge and ray mysterio got a lot of history yes uh, and, and this makes sense it does so yeah good job yeah What's it the main event of next week yeah oh yeah it totally got six Usos man tag or six man yep yep, yep. Awesome. and yeah and that's a good match. smackdown does some things okay uh yeah. you know they're not completely lost no. Mostly with their main event picture. They really know, I mean, because they're putting so much care in a Roman, which is kind of annoying, but it's working. It is. And I'll give them credit for that. Yep. So that was the week in WWE. Now we head it's, over to... Good SmackDown last night, man. I enjoyed it. We head over to the quality brand. And we start with AW Dark Elevation. Yeah. I'll oh, yeah. It. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> 
<laughs> calm down, this. calm down, Kurt Hawkins. I got this, dude. <laughs> so we got AEW Dark Elevation. Oh, you Where? want to start with that? Okay. That's yeah, we cool. do. We do elevation, then dark, then then the you know, the big one. The big one. Yeah. So we're gonna start out with our new segment to the show, the Jobber Report. Who beat jobbers <laughs> on their respective shows? <laughs> First up, Dude. the Jobber Report. We had Thunder Rosa. Uh, I don't think she's wrestled like a standard match in a while. She's just like been killing jobbers for like seven weeks. Yeah. Scorpio Sky got himself a jobber this week looked yep. pretty good in that match uh let's see who else we got here serena deeb uh oh, since yeah. losing the nwa women's title has been yep. getting herself some much needed momentum and has all of her hair because wwe is not booking her anymore <laughs> let's see who else is on the job oh, no that's it for the job report when it comes to dark elevation they didn't have a lot of matches only a 40 minute show this week so yeah we had hikaru shida First, Danny Jordan, who's kind of a jobber, but like they should totally push her more. She's really good. Yeah, she looked good. <laughs> She's got the whole burn book thing. Yep. Uh, and the crowd's chanting for Sheeta, and she goes, No, 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 you guys are getting it wrong. It's Danny. So it's like, Ah, way to work the crowd. Look at you go. She yep. deserves more. Yep. I think they'll use her more. Uh, but obviously, Sheeta just kind of worked her for a while. Uh, and a sloppy bridge into the pin. Like Danny, like kind of, because yeah. she is really short though. And I think that's part of it, but like she slid off. So yeah, she had to like recorrect herself. To yeah. Get it took, position. it took a couple seconds to get in yeah. the spot, but which happens, yeah. uh, but I, I think she underestimated her height. Yeah. When she was doing so. the suplex. Yeah. But yeah, good three-star match. Yeah, Again, Danny Jordan could be a great heel for your company. Yeah. Uh, so then we had Angelico versus Orange Cassidy. Orange Cassidy always delivers. Yes. Because at one point, Angelico steals the shades. Yeah. Blocks the pockets. Yeah. Multiple and then, times. Yeah. But then when he finally gets it and he hits the kicks, the crowd actually does the O like, it, like it's chopping them. Like the crowd's really – it's nice that we get to hear the crowd now. Yeah. Because we, we can understand really what's over and what's not over. Uh. And yeah, Cassidy is fucking over. Yeah. <laughs> Anything the guy does. Yep. Uh, so great. Uh, like the, the arm drag pocket spot was great. When he finally gets his hands in his pockets after the arm drag, so good, so fluent with the yeah. motion. And then the ref puts his shades on. I was like, fucking brilliant, man. I love how they <laughs> yeah. get their refs involved. Hey, like WWE never does that. Get your refs involved in some of the spots, even if they're goofy. It's great. Yep. Uh, and it gives them more to do. It does. Uh, and then at one point, Cassidy just six stat lander on Jack Evans on the outside. Like he has Chuck Taylor out there, and he's like, right, "No, no, he's no!" On the opposite side of the ring, stat lander, you go get him. You go get him. <laughs> and he was backing away from her, dude. I wasn't yeah. fuck with her either. Yeah, she did boop him. She's <laughs> she's not of this world. You're right. She's an alien. Uh, then we got some sneaky heel maneuverings. Yep. Uh, but also we got some new new t-shirts for the best friends. Uh, really digging these new tees with the with the animated uh, caricatures. Very nice. Yeah, yep. those are gonna sell. Go to awshop.com. Oh, yeah. Not sponsored, although please do. Please, that <laughs> for the love of God, please do. Wait. <laughs> uh, and then uh, and and Helica goes for like this weird like side side submission. Like he's yep. got some really innovative submission holds. He does. He's a good technical high uh, flyer. Yeah. That's basically his style. Uh, but again, the crowd's just so wild for Cassidy. Like, it's if Angelica won, like, they might have rioted. Like, this, this crowd was over for it. Oh, yeah. Uh, but Angelica works the leg because that's how he counters the orange punch. He just drop kicks his knee. I thought that was yep. a very innovative way of doing that as well. Yep. Uh, but, yeah, roll through for the win for Cassidy. They call that pin style the mousetrap. The mousetrap. Yeah. <laughs> Which is interesting. It was cool. It was, it was cool. a cool pin. I haven't seen anything like that. Three stars. Because again, for a random pairing, this is as good as it gets. Yeah. And then Helico's good, man. He is. He, and he's really good at getting other people over too. Like, yeah. I know he he's not a jobber anymore, but like the guy's really good at making people look good. Yep. Uh, then we got Amber's oh, the favorite. Dancer too. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hell of an answer. <laughs> then we got Amber's favorite, Serpenico, taking on top flight Dante Martin. <laughs> uh this was i mean dante martin this kid's gonna be a star so talented 20 uh, fucking years old yeah and he's just, he's so fucking impressive yeah uh 
and you know, lo- there's some Luther shenanigans, of course. Sir Penico right. and Luther always got to get their spots in. Yes. Uh, but the front flip cutter gets the win for Martin. Uh, and then Luther attacks him after the match, and Matt Seidel saves him because they had that match, and now they're friends. Yep. Good stuff. Your boy, dude, Seidel, man. <laughs> Was never eliminated from the Battle Royal. Show me proof. Well, we'll talk about any of our listeners in the United States, Saudi Arabia, and France. Tell us, <laughs> show us, show us. I bet you won't. <laughs> I have, a, I'm having an open challenge for the fans. Call out. <laughs> so then we're on AW Dark and we're back to the Jobber Report. Yep. Archer always fucks him up. Dude, just. <laughs> Before the he comes to the ring carrying a jobber, and I'm like, yeah, was this even a scheduled match, or was he just like, fuck it, you come here, go here. Yeah, that's what he, that's what Archer does, man. Because uh, he just destroys everybody. The factory got a win. Abaddon got a win. Abaddon. Uh, Matt Seidel got a win. The Blade got a win. Uh, Britt yep. Baker got a nice promo to talk about, uh, you know, setting up for her feuds in the future, and also to yep. talk about Miami and Road Rager. Yep. Uh, Janelle and Kiss resolve their issues kind of yeah. with janelle it's hard to tell exactly what's going through his head exactly you know? he but is the bad boy <laughs> i like that they're really making us wait to see this thing break right oh yeah he did say that he doesn't want to be the sad boy <laughs> <laughs> fucking joey janelle did you see brit she was like trying to tell him to like fucking yeah sunny in the back of the head <laughs> that's a shit starter <laughs> So then uh, Bear Bronson got a win. And also yes, uh, dude. Bear Boulder back. So yeah. hopefully uh, Bear Country be teaming again because they're a good team. I can't wait to see them actually like tagging together. Yes. I like Bear, dude. Bear's fucking, he's a cool dude, man. Then we got Fuego Del Sol and Marco getting a win. Yes. For the vlog squad. Yeah. Chris Statlander getting a win because, you know, she's awesome. One of my favorite wrestlers in AEW. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Farsi Blondes and Helico got a win. Ryan Nemeth, aka Dolph Ziggler's brother, got a win. Uh, a win, win for the Nemeth family. The Nemeth family. Uh, Pinnacle got a win. Dark Order got a win. All of the Dark Order was damn near in this match. Uh, yeah, Red Velvet got a win. Then we got a fun match of Kylan King versus Ty Conti, uh, yes. accompanied by Negative One. Uh, yeah. Why haven't they thrown these two together before? They did good. Yeah. Uh, pretty even match too. I didn't know who was going to end up getting getting the uh, the victory here, but I, I think Ty Conti made sense. I think she's the one they're trying to put over more. Yeah, seems to be kind of the future. I mean, she's still yeah got a little bit of ways to go with the in ring stuff. I think she could you know more experience will come that that smoothness or whatever. She's still a little rough around the edges. Well, you got to think, dude. When she was in NXT, like she had <clears throat> she yeah. had a few matches, but then. She either like yeah, but like when when she came to NXT, she was like green, yeah, with wrestling. Like Bailey had to like drag her through matches, which I've read a lot of articles about recently. Like Bailey was like her teacher, yeah, in NXT. I actually do remember seeing something like that. uh, Bailey did a lot of work with her, and um, but she still got a little bit of work to go. Like she's got the 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 actual move sets down. It's just that matches need to have more of a flow. Sometimes I feel like she stops where she's like doesn't keep the momentum moving forward right uh and and kylan king is a, is a more of a slow match person i don't think yeah. she's a very fast-paced wrestler so when you don't have a fast-paced wrestler and then you're thinking about where the spot needs to go then you have a weird awkward kind of silence for a second yeah uh but yeah that dd tie that's a that's a fun fun finisher like saying yeah. it got the win two and a half stars needs a little bit of work but i like this pairing i think they should wrestle each other more yeah oh yeah they i mean they put on a really good good match because again give them a couple more matches on dark i think that they can have a beautiful match they i just, think ty i think conti is gonna be she's gonna she, be she's big. the star of the future but yeah. they gave her that title match she had that match with Sheeta like about a month ago and i was like too early too early for that yeah. but you know a couple years she she's gonna be the person well like amber said she does she is the uh She's like second really? in the rankings. Yeah. 
I might happen sooner. The only that. person that's ahead of her. Hey, it might happen a lot. It might very soon. But I yeah. don't think she'll win. Baker's going to have this belt for a while, and yes. it's well deserved. Yes, absolutely. Um, so then we move on to Jack Evans versus Mike Seidel. Uh, two guys that can have a good match. This was a solid match, just not the most interesting to me. I'm not no. a big Jack Evans guy. <laughs> Uh, and I'm not a big Mike Seidel guy. He's my. <laughs> like, no, you like Matt, man. I'm Matt Seidel. Uh, the yoga thing just doesn't do it for me. He's great in the ring, but like it wor- it works in a tag scenario because you have Matt there too. But if, right. if, if like, oh yeah, main event Mike Seidel, it just doesn't does, doesn't work like that. Right. Uh, so then we got our main event of Dark Chaos Project versus Pentagon and Eddie Kingston. Of course, Pentagon and Eddie Kingston were going to win this match. They're, they have, they're facing the Young Bucks, not going to lose to Luther and Serpenico. It's right. not going to happen. <laughs> uh, and Luther just basically threw Serpenico at them for a while. Yeah. Like, there was no real offense besides just tossing his partner at them. Uh, that Serpenico, happened in the Battle Royal, yeah, too, remember? Yeah, he's very good at that. He's very good at that. Uh, maybe that's why Amber loves him so much. Uh, I don't <laughs> Uh, but also, Serpentico was like poking the bear. He was like shoving on Kingston. I'm like, that's, that's a, the last guy you want to just go shoving up on. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Uh, but yeah, overall, pretty solid dark and elevation. Uh, dropping all my papers on the ground. That's cool. I'm good at that. Just dropping all the shit on the floor. It's not DJ, it's you. This is just paper. I'm not dropping action figures left and right. <laughs> So then we're on to, 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 to the big, the big topic. Uh, AW Road Rager. They're, they're in Miami, Florida. They're heading, they're back on the road. Fans are there. Crowd energy. And boy, did they give a show to, to start this process again. Uh, major hype. Man. So let's, let's dive right in. It's going to be a lot. <laughs> let's fucking do it, dude. So we start out with a South Beach strap match. QT Marshall versus Cody Rhodes. Great opener. Wow, dude. I, I love a good strap match. It's yeah. it's a staple of wrestling since like the 80s. Yeah. Uh, and Cody Rhodes is a very old school mindset, like taking the new age wrestling style, but with an old school booking mentality. Yeah. Uh, and that's very much shown here. Uh, QT plays scared in the beginning, doesn't want to get in the ring, doesn't want to touch the strap. Rhodes takes it to him early. Yeah. Uh, but of course, you know, the there was also a great spot where he goes for a moonsault and Rhodes just nails him with a strap as he's coming. Yep. To him. Great timing. Looked like it hurt like a son of a bitch. Oh, dude. Hmm. Uh, the rest of the factory tried to interfere. Dustin Rhodes gets them out of there. Yep. Gonna make this thing even set. Uh, but QT gets that low blow in. Got to get those sneaky heel tactics. Yep. Uh, gets a strap suplex. Yeah. Uh, and then QT gets busted open, kind yeah. of though. Not not real bad. It's just not like, bad. Like, right here. Uh, then we get a uh, the flatliner. Very nice. Uh, stalls Cody there. Uh, top rope cutter. Uh, Cody hits a cutter, which yep. we call the Cody cut because he hulks up. Like literally, he did a fucking Hulk Hogan. He did. He's hitting him with a strap, and he just like fires up. Uh-huh. I, but unlike Hulk Hogan, he's like way less racist. So this, this was a lot more fun. <laughs> Just saying. It's the truth. Yeah, I mean. Then he hits not one, not two, but three crossroads. Three crossroads, dude. That was That's just the cool. four corners for the win. That was great. In succession, too. Yeah, he just rolled right through. He did it like not let go of that motherfucker at all. I was like, that's how you do it, Cody. Very good. Cody Rhodes. What, what a guy. Yeah. Uh, then we cut to Sammy Guevara hitting Sean Spears with a chair. Uh, you know, the receipt from last week. Yep. Uh, then Omega and Callis come to talk about how there's there's no more challengers for Kenny Omega. He's beaten them all across TNA, AAA, uh, AEW. Nobody's left to stand in the way. But no. Evil Uno comes out to say, hey, 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 you've been ducking the hangman who's trying to be the main main. Yeah. Get out the way, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> uh, so then we get a uh, Dark Order versus the Callus crew fighting all over the place. And then here comes that hangman. 
the said hangman comes out and the crowd went fucking bananas oh yeah dude. Like, page is the white hot baby face like yeah and he's gonna get that title shot and honestly i think he's getting that belt i think i think he's going to he's come and close so many times we're gonna witness it that sure. that would be i i think it makes sense to change hands at a pay-per-view and that would be i mean that's the time to do it yeah and that crowd including us is gonna lose their fucking minds yeah because it's full capacity dude full capacity show but yeah just hearing the crowd like just that page is over yes because again we weren't sure on who was over and who wasn't now we know yep uh then we get the setup to the coffin match which was supposed to be this week but got bumped next week yes uh so darby and page set it up basically page is just like you know i brought you into this business and you jumped the line you got the tnt title i'm gonna take everything from you and darby just kind of sat there yeah uh, Page is just jealous because he hasn't gotten anywhere yet and yeah, i mean yet. this is literally darby's match like yeah oh yeah he's he probably, uh, unless he's he coffin right. drops and misses and oh. drops into the coffin which I I could see that hey, being a thing. Of all the casket matches the Undertaker has been in, how many has he won? Like there's a pretty uneven ratio of wins and losses. Yeah, that is true. So who knows? Ethan Page may win here. He might. I hope he doesn't. <laughs> then we got the pinnacle, FTR and Wardlow taking on the inner circle, Hager, Santana, and Ortiz. Uh of course, this was not going to be a bad match, but a little underwhelming compared yeah. to some of their other uh, bouts. Yeah. Uh, Ortiz really had to do the heavy lifting in this match. He did. He, did. Uh, he looked really good, too. I, 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 I thought he was kind of the MVP here of the match. Uh, Hager just kind of came in to swat FTR away and then to get Wardlow in. Yep. Uh, and then, you know, we have the two biggest yet least in- interesting guys in each group going at it. So, like, I don't really give a shit about Hayer or Wardlow. So I was like, oh, okay, here we go. I guess I'll just kind of pay attention for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Dragon Suplex by FTR to Ortiz. That looked awesome. Yes. Uh, so when Hager and Wardlow square up, FTR comes in, hits the big rig on Hager, and then Wardlow gets the pin. Uh, Pinnacle wins here. Pinnacle's won most of the encounters with the Inner Circle. But this yep. rivalry is still going. Not yeah. entirely sure what the. I mean, obviously MJF and Jericho is the end point, but I don't, I don't know what the. When's it going to end, kind of thing? Because this next yeah. MJF Jericho thing may not even be the last time. So it doesn't bother me as bad as some no, because they're, they're two bigger stables. So you can have like this is a different set of guys. You also have Guevara and you have Spears and you have MJF and Jericho. It's not like you're watching Lashley and McIntyre face each other for like three months. Right, you know exactly. I mean? And that's that's why AEW does. And I think that's why this whole thing is still going, but it's not. There's annoying. variety. Right, because they, they switch mm-hmm. up, you know, who gets segments and they don't just yeah. play yeah. the same. And there's not a match there. every week. Like there's, right. not, there's not something all the time exactly that's why it's working you want to have a long feud uh, that's cool do it the way aew does it right and then carl anderson he's going to take on moxley for the iwgp us title next week at night one of fighter fest yep that's going to be a match yes <laughs> yeah can't wait uh, to see box back bald moxley versus old pants or old trunks <laughs> i don't know what's weird. yeah have you seen moxley yeah, I saw that he got that. He uh, looks like a fucking look. Triple H. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He looks like Mr. Clean. He's a scary man, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, can't wait to see that match, though. I mean, that that's for a Japanese title, that's the two most Japanese wrestlers you can put in that aren't actually Japanese. Yep. Uh, so we got MJF and Jericho uh, coming face to face, which is it's a, it's a tables, you know, you know, contract signing thing but it's less of a contract signing thing. Right. Uh, it's not as, you know, corny as we're used to seeing these things go down. Uh, fan tries to jump MJF. Sherico jumps fan. Uh, yeah. Guys, we just got back on the road. Can we not right. fucking Don't do this? Don't fuck this up for everybody. Like, all right. You're a fan. Stay in your fucking seat. All right. Like, yeah. don't be a dick. Right. He got punched. 
Yeah, Jericho fucking yeah. <laughs> fucking decked him, dude. And the poor camera guy's like, shit, don't look at it. <laughs> Turn away. Yeah. So yeah, fans, if you want us to travel, don't be assholes. Don't fuck it up for everybody. I get you're excited and shit, but come the And fuck I get up. MJF's a great heel. He makes you hate him. But like, Absolutely. He's just yeah. doing his fucking job. Let him do his job. His job, exactly. Uh, but great. They they just played it off great because MJF's like, if any of you redneck bastards want to get in the ring, I'll beat up all of you. And I was <laughs> like, yes. Use it as an angle. Work MJF it. is so good at what he's doing, man. Like, God damn, dude. Such a good heel. <sighs> Such a good talker. Yeah. Uh, and then Jericho's like, I should have let that fat bastard beat your ass. <laughs> and then Jericho, uh, he's like, I'll do anything to have another match with you. I'll even have sex with your mother. <laughs> and then there's a pause. And then he goes, again. <laughs> and then the crowd just pops. <laughs> again, uh, you don't see that on WWE television. Nope. Uh, but yeah, great interaction. Uh, basically, MJF tells Jericho, you got to run a gauntlet. If you want to face me, I'm going to pick your four opponents and the stipulations. Then you'll face me at the end of it. Yeah. Uh, great. Great move. Take, Cause you know, he's taken everything from Jericho. Why not take something Jericho did to Moxley and give it back to him? Yeah. Makes perfect sense. It does. Uh, then they shake hands and Jericho clocks him one. Yeah. Good. Great stuff. Great booking. Yep. Ready for this again. WWE. It's not that hard. No. <laughs> No, it's not. You we don't have that high of expectation, although this knocked everything out of the park, but still. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, great segment. That's how you do a uh, contract sign. That's how you get it done. Yeah. So then we got Matt Seidel versus El Idolo. Andrade. Uh, great debut. Yes. yes. We all knew. We all knew. As much as we love Matt Seidel, Andrade was going to win this fucking match. There was no way he's going to lose his debut. Nope. Uh, I think the best spot in the whole match, though, is when Andrade goes for a moonsault. Seidel rolls out of the way, hits his feet, and this does a moonsault anyway. Like, it yep. was fucking great. Yep. Uh, yeah, Andrade gets most of the momentum, gets a pretty quick win here. But, again, he needed it. He, he, yeah. Yes, he had all the momentum from WWE, but it's time to, you know, get him over here in AEW where he can actually do his shit. Yeah. Then we got probably the biggest news of the whole week as Arn Anderson comes out to, for, I don't even know why, <laughs> basically for this spot. Uh, the lights go out and they come back on. Matt's, well, first they say Tommy End, but it's Malachi Black. Yes. Black Master Arn Anderson, Black Master Cody Rhodes. He's here, he's in AEW. He's fucking there, dude. Way earlier than we expected him to be. Yes. Because we knew, yeah. you said when Zelina Vega showed up in WWE, you're like, oh no, he might I go. I was scared, dude. And I'm like, not that AEW contract. I heard it was in the works. Here it fucking is. <sighs> dude, I'm still fucking freaking out, man. <laughs> and he's got that injured eye from the, the WWE. Fucking couch. When he showed up, dude, I was like, he's fucking there. <laughs> well, when the lights went out, did you expect it or was it a complete shock when the lights came up? I felt like it was definitely somebody coming in, but I didn't because they even teased it anybody. during the strap match. Like the lights, went they out. Did, it might have actually been an error. The people in the back might have been like, shit, we didn't mean to hit that lightning cue. Yeah. Well, like when, when that first little like quick yeah. second blackout thing happened, they were like, oh, the weather. They were always, they were saying the weather. Yeah, but it sounded dumb. Yeah, it then, sounded like a cover. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, the lights came back on and fucking Malachi was standing there. I was like, like I was super stoked, but I'm kind of sad because I was hoping that he was really going to show up at All Out. Like, that was going to be his debut. But now we get to see him wrestle. There. Yeah, if they don't give him a match, I'm going to be fucking mad. But I'm pretty we sure he will. We would have seen the video. Well, I'm glad we didn't because we were more surprised. But if we had seen that video that was out beforehand we would have known because of the way they were blacking out in the video yeah dude but yeah i i was i was shocked when i heard this happen <laughs> because it was so soon i knew he was going to aw i was like there's no way this guy doesn't go because because uh, dogs agree dogs love here. malachi yeah. black tell him kane chaos <laughs> it was hype wasn't it yeah they're stoked too dude fucking right it was <laughs> 
But yeah, uh, and I heard that because you know usually they have a ninety day no compete clause, but there was an error in Alistair Black's contract where when he went from came from NXT, they forgot to, the to take off that thirty day no compete clause to a ninety day non compete clause. So he was able to come over in 30 days and he fucking did. So thank you, WWE, you fucking idiots. So yeah, they're pissed about this too because it's completely their fault. It's a clerical error, but they're pissed at the people that made the clerical error because they were still, they were trying to during this 90 day, what they thought to get him back. Now, nope, he went right over. Bye bye. Bye bye. Where he's going to have some good ass, man. Him versus Cody Rhodes is going to be amazing. And he wants Jericho. That's it. Literally, name anyone on the AEW roster. The guy's gonna have a great match, and, then, and they're and actually gonna let him do against. it. Yes, and he's gonna have full character control. Yeah. Did you see that video that he posted? Mm-hmm. Dude, fucking brilliant, man! So the, good. The guy knows how to make a character. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, and he's gonna get to but do what the fuck the, he wants to the do. The commentary now. team took him a fucking minute to get the name because they're like, <laughs> that's. Wow, I wrestled him in, in, in Wales. It's 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 Tommy N. Or wait, um, no, that's Malachi Black. Yeah. Like they were like, wait a second, it's coming to the headset. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Which that was still good. I, and it happens. The crowd was chanting Tommy N because they couldn't hear the commentary, so they didn't. Yeah, know. right. And, so and they just assumed he would be under his actual name when he right. came over. But I'm glad right. that he's able to keep black and still keep the black mask. Makes yeah. it a lot easier when we're still talking about him because it's hard not to say Alistair, but at least I can just say Black. Yeah, be referring to him, but Malachi's a good name too. Yeah, I it's like it. Take a little adjusting. Yeah, it's good. There's going to be some some growing pains with the name, but you know, like, I think it's good. I still, I still kind of wish that he would go by Tommy in just because that. I mean, Malachi Black sounds cool as fuck, but so does Tommy in. You know what I mean? But I think the he reason, really does have a cool name. Like, it, it I works. think the reason why he's not doing it though is because when he first showed up in NXT, he debuted as Tommy in. Mm. So he's just trying to erase Definitely. all the bad shit and good riddance. But he actually kept the the eye injury from WWE oh, yeah. with the Murphy thing. I thought that was it's, cool that he's taking things from from the Alistair Black character and incorporating them into the Malachi Black character. It's cool. But dude that 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 video that he did there were yeah. so many fucking stabs at WWE. I was like, dude, you got I mean, it, man. I understand, but he he left in a professional way. He's like, he listen, I, I'm thankful for the opportunities that I got while I was at yeah. NXT. However, yeah. He got fucked. He did. And he didn't want to do it again. Nope. Like it made perfect sense for him to go to AEW. He gets full creative control. Gets to have great matches. That's what a professional wrestler wants to do. Yeah. So. Yeah. So it's not always about the cash, but I'm sure they paid him a pretty penny. Oh, yeah. So then we're on to Blade and the Bunny taking on Chris Statlander and Orange Cassidy. Uh, great stuff again. Uh, yeah. Statlander also wearing Cassidy shades when they come yes. down to the ring. Thought that was awesome. It is. Uh, Cassidy has him check the blade for Nux. They do yep. get one pair of Nux out. Uh, and Cassidy does the kicks to the bunny. And she literally, she goes, whatever. And she walks away while the crowd's yeah. like, oh, oh. Yeah. Blade's such a powerhouse, too. Like, Dude, yeah. He, like, He's been he, on a roll lately. Since he really Butcher's has been injured. He's been just fucking destroying everybody. Although I hope Butcher comes back soon. They're a great tag team. Yeah. Uh, and I love the Butcher's look. So. Yep. Uh, also Statlander, uh, she hits she hits a power slam and then like thumbs up towards Gazzy. Like it's all good over here. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Again, great little spots uh to put in there. Uh. Bunny also hits a German off Brett's rope, the second yeah. rope, the most devastating rope. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Statlander hits a 451 on the blade. Yeah. Good good thing for Statlander there. Yeah. Uh, but then Blade gets those second pair of knucks from Bunny, but the announcer fucks up. Excalibur goes, oh, Allie handed him the knucks. I mean, shit, the Bunny handed him the knucks. <laughs> I was like, don't be using her actual name. I know you guys Twitch uh, do Twitch streams together, but damn. Right. Well, she used that name in TNA too. Still, come on, Excalibur. <laughs> yeah. it, it's been long enough. She's the he bus. was he was confused that night, man. He he couldn't decide what thought they were playing like. golf with friends. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Statlander saves Cassidy after he gets knocked. 
uh, and then uh, hits the Big Bang Theory for the win. Cassidy and Stat Cat Cassidy is he, he's going up in the contendership again. He's number two, and uh, Statlander is wow. number four. She's working her way up, dude. I'm she's gonna get she's it. Not up higher. She will yeah, be. I don't think she's lost a whole lot of matches, but again, I well, Nyla Rose is number one. Yeah, uh, Ty Conti is Ty two, Conti's apparently. number two. Who's number I don't three? Know who's third? I don't know who's third. Quick Google search. The rankings for Omega are Paige, Cassidy, Jungle Boy, Darby, and Matt Seidel. Oh, your boy, dude. Boys in the top five. And he was never eliminated from that battle royal. <laughs> Show me the show me the proof. Uh, the rankings for Britt Baker are as followed: Nyla Rose, Ty Conti, Thunder Rosa, Chris Statlander, and Hikaru Shida. Thunder Rosa. The Bucks rankings: Well, Kingston and uh, Pentagon a, are knocked off. Yeah. So Varsity Blondes, uh, the Acclaimed, FTR, and Private Party. All right. And the Miro stuff is the exact same as Omega's. Apparently, it works for both. Oh, which that's kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. So, yeah, technically, Paige, Cassidy, Jungle Boy. I think Jungle Boy could challenge Miro. I can see see that. I can see that going. Fuck, dude. If he can't beat Omega, there ain't no way he's going to be. I feel like they put more stock in Omega than they do in Miro. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. He's an EVP. Yeah, he is. So yeah, good match for for Blade Bunny, Statlander, and Cassidy. Gave it three and a half stars. Had a lot of fun. So yep. we're on to our main event. Pentagon and Eddie Kingston take on the Young Bucks for the tag team titles. What a fucking match this turned out fucking to. Fucking street fights, dude. They're so good. Brutal as hell, too. Oh, they man. they took they took the thumbtack spot to a whole new level. <laughs> we watched it twice. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. We had to watch it with Fry. Yeah, because wow. he, he stayed the night at Amber's mom's Wednesday night, so he didn't get to watch it. Was it was watching twice. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a good match. I gave it yeah. four and a half stars. Not quite yeah. the five, but damn good. Yeah. Uh, because, yeah, the Bucks, they try to super kick Kingston and accidentally get Nakazawa. Yeah. Uh, stereo kicks on the chair to the Bucks. Also, a chair low blow. It was like a what's up. Yeah, uh, with a chair. Yeah, uh, fun homage. Then it is table time. After that, tables. Table time. Uh, and Kingston gets power bombed on the upside down table. I was like, what? The, what the fuck? You guys do it? Just turn turn yeah. the table over. Yeah. They broke it or something. Yeah, they were like breaking the legs off of it or something. Yeah, so no one lands on it. Yeah. But why didn't you just flip it over? And yeah, just, just, just use like, it like the normal it. table. I yeah. Uh, Pentagon did a destroyer through the table fucking machine dude that is the second time penta has done that to matt do a fucking table is that gonna be the new lana spot the first one was oh. off that fucking ladder dude yeah the table that, that at, was a spot uh, what paper pay-per-view was that papal i can't talk <laughs> Papal paper paper view paper paper view anyway <laughs> this is why you can't be champion joe you can't even speak english dude <laughs> fuck off man all right <laughs> god damn uh then at one point the next pentagon hits a code breaker to nick and also a senton to matt at the same time dude fucking genius great spots man uh so kingston holds a sleeper and nick takes out the ref instead of just landing on kingston i thought was that was genius. a good call yep good cooks kingston probably would, would have just kept the hold on yeah because uh, matt so, fucking tapped yeah he tapped but the ref was out then the good oh. bros arrived <laughs> but pentagon said no <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, good brothers. Yeah. Uh, Cass takes out Brandon Cutler. Uh, but Nick saves the day after the package driver. Cass then levels Nick Jackson, but the good bros take out Cass. Again, a lot yeah. of shit happened in this match. Fuck yeah. Uh, then Kingston gets them thumbtacks. And anytime thumbtacks come out, I wince because I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Matt just takes some and throws them at Kingston's face. I'm like, Jesus, yeah. be careful. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, a bunch of thumbtack spots and then a thumbtack super kick to Kingston for the win. God damn. Yeah. What an event. Road Rager. What an event. Again. Five stars, dude. The whole <laughs> really, show. 
really mu- must see event best non pay per view pay per view. Yeah, I think it topped uh, Great American Bash. Well, yeah, yeah. No, no offense to the competitors at Great American Bash, but Road Rager was lit. Yeah. Plus, it had the Malachi Black return and everything else. That made the whole fucking night, dude. Well, I know for you. That made my night. That made my whole fucking Uh, night. So then we got the news. Play news real footage. (laughs) Uh, Apparently... We we got some news of the past because Lana now you know now she's not in the company anymore. She could talk about stuff behind the scenes. And apparently, when she was doing the whole Jax is always putting her through a table spot. Like remember how it like just abruptly stopped? Yeah. yeah. Well, apparently it was because Roman was going to do a table spot and told Vince that there could only be one table spot in the show. So Vince pulled the plug on the Lana Jax thing, and Jax found out. And now Jax apparently like went off on Roman about it really because yeah you know, that's family taking spots from family yeah i get but it roman's kind of a bitch like that I, I could see him being like the you know Shawn michaels used to be back in the 90s about just running running to vince anytime he has a problem with anything yeah but i won't look 100 percent good yeah you're not the rock <laughs> exactly also we talked about raw and smackdown also tna had the lowest ratings that they've had in a while this week as well uh but you know, sorry TNA. It's just there's only so much wrestling I can watch in a week. I apologize. Right. <laughs> Trust me, I wish yeah, I could I trade. TNA this week wasn't it? This no, week? it was like last week or yeah, because this week they had uh, the Good Bros and uh, Omega taking on Sammy Callahan, Moose, and uh, Chris Sabin. Hmm. Yeah, it was a great main event. Uh, apparently, McIntyre is going to go back to the old theme song he used to have in 2009. I have no idea uh, what that sounds like. It's it's a good song, but I don't know what how it really fits with him nowadays. Hmm. Uh, Maybe he's gonna change his gimmick. I don't think so, <laughs> unless he's really is gonna become Scottish storyteller Drew McIntyre. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, also, the Mysterios are trying to get the Latino World Order back. I did see that yesterday. Uh, which with someone who could be returning to WWE, that could happen. Also, Becky Lynch did some voiceover work in the UFC. Uh, hmm. Like, for one of their events, she was, like, the voice before the really? event, like, recap and everything. Don't know why, but huh. she she did that. Is that I mean, a shot it, at uh, Ronda? I, I think uh, because Conor McGregor's also Irish. Oh, so that they, makes they sense. wanted to have an Irish voice. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, you know. Again, take one of any jobs you can get. I understand it. But it was just kind of random to hear that come through the news feed. Yeah. <clears throat> it's cool. Apparently, though. WWE is trying to sign TNA star Moose. Uh, don't think he's going to do it, though. I hope he doesn't. But they want him bad. No. Well. Vince wants him bad. Why, to bury him? <laughs> Probably. Feed him to Lesnar. Sure. Uh, yeah. WWE officials had a crisis meeting to talk about their low ratings this week. There was an emergency meeting with all uh, stockholders and EVPs. Wow. Basically saying, like, we got to fix some shit or else, like, this is bad. It's real bad. Dude, I'm telling you, man, they know AEW was nipping at their fucking heels. Because they haven't had a meeting like this in years. Wow. So this this is big. Crazy. Uh, Also, Styles signed his contract. He renewed his contract there to be. And he said, when it's done, that's it. He's going to retire. Wow. So we got maybe like two years left of AJ Styles. I mean, he's 45. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Uh, and he's done just about everything you can do in the world of wrestling. Yeah. Uh, I get it. Yeah. Because I, I think, you know, and, and WWE's been good to him. They have. They've treated so him really well. He can hang his hat on his career, and I don't think yeah. he's had any regrets about anything. No. Uh, also, Alberto Del Rio may return to WWE. <laughs> This is the yeah. whole LWO thing. I mean, now that he's cleared of all those domestic abuse charges. How's that going to work at page returns? Yeah. Uh, we might have already scrapped that page return. Mm. I thought she was going to be Lily. Apparently that Lily thing's done. Well, she haven't, we haven't seen the doll in like, what, two weeks now? Yeah. No. So. so but whatever. Yeah, but. But it's not going to be as much. It, it's not going to be as much of a thing as it was. 
Yeah. Uh, which, you know, are we surprised? What were you saying about the doll? She could have just, like, talked about getting rid of the doll or something. Or if Lily had an accident, or Alexa is Lily, something, whatever. <laughs> also, Terry Funk diagnosed with dementia. Oh. Yeah. But the guy's had like 183 concussions. Like, surprise, his brain works at yeah. all. It's fucking crazy, man. Uh, That's but a it, second it, week. It, it is sad news to hear, though. Man. For him. But uh, yeah, the guy had one hell of a hardcore career. So, oh, you yeah. know. That yeah. was kind of to be expected with all the, the head trauma. Yeah. Uh, this was probably the one that everybody heard about. Uh, Jimmy Uso's DUI. I'm sure we all heard about that. Yeah. Uh, didn't lose a job. In fact, they even cemented the whole bloodline storyline. Uh, so, you know, his career is okay. Yeah. Shouldn't be. Because this is like, what, his second in the past like year or two? He's had, yeah, he's had a couple. So not not great. Yeah. Uh, but apparently, I didn't even know there was a third Uso brother. Like really? they have they have a younger brother who also oh, wrestles. I've seen him. I've seen him. He could be WWE bound soon. Hmm. To be part of this whole bloodline thing. He's uh, had a match on one of the shows before. I've seen him. Yeah, it's like uh, it's on the Fatu. I I can't remember the yeah. the first name. Huh. Uh. Also, WWE revealed their scrapped titles that they were going to use, but didn't. Well, they, they made them, but then they never used them. And that is the cruiserweight tag belts. Oh, that could be kind of cool. Like they they made them when they made the cruiserweight title. This was going to be like stage two of two hundred five, but we all saw what happened with two hundred five. So they were like, "Fuck that!" So they just yeah. still have these belts lying around the warehouse, but they're not going to be used. Man. But it's the same design, though. Purple, whatever, but just, like, with the tag logo. Yeah. It'd be cool to see, but apparently that's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, apparently, Cena reigns locked for SummerSlam. Cena and reigns? So, this whole Edge winning the title thing probably won't happen, considering Cena and reigns is, is it pretty much confirmed. Stupid. And also, Heyman may turn on Roman when Brock returns. I can definitely see that. Because Heyman and Brock go way fucking back, dude. You know, I can definitely see that happening. And that is your wrestling news. Yay! <laughs> what will happen next week? Will Raw have something that I can actually be excited about? Probably not. <laughs> no. I don't What's going to so. be the follow-up for Great American Bash? <sighs> now that Malachi Black is in AEW, what's next? So many things. Well, Fighter Fest is next, so we actually we have, we have a really good card. Have you seen the card for Fighter Fest Night One? Yeah. I have it pulled up right now. Yeah. Um, it's, it, it's good. Where was it? Just lost it. I'll find it. Maybe. Where it's not. That's just. You the, were just on it. God damn it, Joe! I didn't do right nothing. Here next week oh there it is okay yeah so we got cage and stark for the ftw championship page and darby coffin match christian and matt that's gonna be a banger dude. I'm looking forward to that. penelope ford and who's who's you yuka she's returning she's a japanese wrestler she was like when they when they first started the women's division she was there then she's been gone for a while because oh, okay hangman to speak and moxley versus carl, carl anderson Yep. For the IWGP title. Should be a good card, man. I like it. Yeah. I'm down for it. It was announced for Raw and SmackDown so far. <laughs> yeah. Eight women tag match. Yeah. And then a fatal four way on SmackDown with the men for money in the bank. Yeah. Yep. It's stupid. I don't know why they're doing that shit. <laughs> Two days beforehand. Why? So that's the week in wrestling. Also, don't forget to follow Joe on Twitch. Joe, do you actually have your Twitch handle ready to go this time? Uh, no. Twitch TV slash Joey Grin. Boom. Beautiful. You did it. Awesome. <laughs> and also, there'll be a link to said Twitch in both the Buzzsprout feed and on the YouTube description. So, yes, be sure to check that out if you're into heavy metal, gaming, obviously wrestling conversation. Joe's the guy for you for that to be done. 
Peace. Also, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and comment down below. And if you're anywhere else, thank you for watching. Until next time. Do this is